And after the death of one year old Jariah Johnson late last night, investigators have released new details today about the vicious dog attack endured by the baby and a 13 year old girl who was caring for him at the time. The sheriff says as of now, they're not planning on upgrading the original charge, but the Northeast Bear County dog owner could face more trouble. Kent's five Sue Calberg talked to the sheriff about progress on the case that he calls infuriating to bring a baby into that, that residence for the for, for sheer profit. Uh, that right there is just I'm disgusted by the whole by the whole thing. Sheriff Javier Salazar says the dogs that killed the baby were so vicious the deputies who tried to save the two kids had trouble reaching the children. The owner of the dogs, the suspect, actually made it home and was able to get the dogs outside to, 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 to allow the deputies to come in and you know start administering first aid to the baby. Salazar says there's no plan to upgrade the charge to murder, even though the child died, because serious bodily injury is a first degree felony with the most significant penalty range, five to 99 years or life, and a fine of up to $10,000. But he says Heather Rodriguez may see her bond increased and. But it is also possible that she may be facing additional charges for the injury to the 13 year old who is actually her daughter. Because Rodriguez was cited back in April for allowing her aggressive dogs to roam and threaten neighbors, Salazar says they'll do everything they can to gain legal custody and control over the fate of the animals involved. To me, that's the equivalent of coming out into your own front yard and waving a gun around indiscriminately. There is a verified GoFundMe account to help the baby's family with funeral expenses. And at Kens5.com, we have that link. Sue Kalberg, Kens5.